about here we have the number of units, the quantity, we have the cost, and we have the net realizable value, which I call NRV. So for the first, let's talk about the NRV. When we talk about NRV, it means the estimated receipt on the sales of a product minus your cost of sales. So that means the amount you're going to sell a product less your cost on sales. That is what we call the NRV. Do you understand what NRV is here? The estimated receipt on the sales of a product minus your cost on sales. That is NRV. Then cost itself is the, the amount you purchase the product, including the cost on that product. You see the difference here? This is cost. The amount you purchase the product, including the cost on the product, for example, carriage inward. Carriage inward is part of your cost on purchases. So that is our cost. Therefore, and that would be the result. The amount you are going to sell the product, the estimated amount you are going to sell the product, including the cost on that sales. I think I saw the difference here. Okay, that's the first thing. So let's say we write NRV. It is the estimated receipts on a product including including the cost on sales the costs on sales the cost itself it is the amount of purchasing of purchases including the costs mm -hmm. on purchases Example here, carriage inward. So, you have the answers. After you choose A, and now you choose B, you choose C, and now you choose D. So, now before we go, this is what we need to understand mm -hmm. cost, and then now we put, put that aside. Mm -hmm. So, we, now, we have to prepare a people's inventory valuation as that. Do we have the year? We think it was the year. Uh, I think so, yes. Wait, let me see. Uh, the end of financial year on 30 June 26. They gave us, right? Yeah, the end of financial year. Okay. So, now. Wait, no. Sorry. We're not giving. No, no, we're not giving. Okay, okay, it's okay. So, we just have to do the rough calculation here. Uh -huh. This is the product X and product Y. So, for product X, product X. When we are told to find. When you are told to find the value, when you are told to find the value of inventory, you use your NRV, the net realizable value. Do you understand? So what do we do for product X? We have 500, which is the number of units, multiplied by the NRV, 1.80. What does it give you, please? It gives you uh... product Y. Hold on, please. For product Y, product Y, they say 200 out of product Y were damaged and unsellable. That means they are out of place. They are out of place. So that means for product Y, we have 2000 minus 200 multiplied by the NRV 1.90. Do you get it? Yes. So that means for product Y, we have 800. Multiply by 1.90. Do you get it? Yes. So let's see, let's do it this way. Wait, no, this way. 1,800. 1,800. Thank you. So 1,800 multiplied by this is what? 3,420. 3,420. And put out x. Uh, 900. 900. 900, right? Yes. So what does that give you? Zero. Two, three, four. Four thousand three twenty. That's the answer. So where's four thousand three twenty? Yeah. See. That's how you see. I told you. So uh, we got it. Million. 
Is it clear? Is it clear, guys? Yes. Alright. What 